Morning. It's day four of looking after Emma after her operation. She's doing all right. She's getting really, really itchy feet and bored, but she cannot, and I've been told by the nurse at the hospital that she's not allowed to do anything at all for 10 whole days. Literally nothing, nothing at all, but she's trying to do something. She's just had a, like a kettle off of someone delivered so she can make her own tea because it's actually like a kettle where you put the cup under and press the button. That's how much she wants to just make her own cup of tea. But she's not at all. Nothing to report overnight, no activity from the rats at all. Not even licked up peanut butter. So we'll try again tonight. But what we did have last night was surprise visitors. Well, not surprise, they were supposed to be coming today. But Emma's mum arrived last night. So what she's gonna do now is basically take the reins off of me so then I can go back to work tomorrow. So she's gonna be cooking and doing some cleaning and stuff. That's the plan. But obviously, first of all, we've got to go shopping and get food in for the next few days so she can make the dinner. It's going to be nice to actually relax and not have to make dinner today at all. So, yeah, we're going to go food shopping, get a few Christmassy bits. The big problem is, though, Emma's mum, Gina, she has to, every time she comes back from Skegness to Northampton, she has to go to Hobbycraft and have a browse around. Now, seeing as um, Emma's rather immobilised and can't do it, I've got to ferry her to Hobbycraft and walk around Hobbycraft. So uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for her now and then we're gonna do a bit of browsing shopping as you do. And then I'm actually going to feed the birds and stuff because I didn't do it yesterday because it was too dark and too cold. I can't bother, I need to get it done because England playing Wales tonight. Come on, England. Yeah, come on, Gina. <laughs> Well, that day just literally flew by. And I mean literally flew by. One minute I'm in the aviary cleaning stuff up and I've looked, I'm like, I'm doing some washing up, the washing up the water bowls. I'm like, my neighbour doesn't usually finish work till two o'clock. That means he gets home about quarter past two. I looked, it's nearly quarter three. I'm like, shit. And I've had to rush around like a headless chicken to get the aviary finished so I can pick the girls up from school. Not that I had to rush though because Gina could have gone pick the girls up from school. I didn't think of that, did I? But no, everyone's all right in the aviary. We managed to get it all. It wasn't a full on clean, but I ended up doing a full on clean of the floor, new bedding, new hay, straw, everything, and sawdust and stuff. Checked all the boxes. Everyone's as they were, still just a one baby finch. Mummy budgie's got three eggs. Uh, there's the three baby budgies. I don't know, they're mutations. Someone tell me the mutations are kind of yellow, and one's yellow and green. But to me, they're just budgies. So shopping in Hobbycraft and going shopping, Christmas shopping, wasn't that bad, it weren't too bad. I mean, I do love Hobbycraft because I like making candles. So if I had lots of money, I would have spent some, but I didn't, so I didn't. But as a thank you for taking her, Gina did buy me a magical Christmas candle, which she knows that I love my Christmas, oh, Christmas candles. But I can't light it because it's not the 1st of December. So I'm gonna have to wait, it's only two more days. Do I like it then? Because it'll be gone by Christmas. So yeah, no, back at it tomorrow, back to work. Need to start saving money so I can afford to buy some Christmas presents for everybody. Not that I have to, because Santa does it. I don't know. Uh, Lucky, going back to talking about Lucky. Now, uh, what I didn't sort out, which I wanted to sort out, was the problem I've got with Lucky. Now, like I said, Lola died probably about three, four weeks ago. The, the other quail, that was the one that kind of like hidden. Remember I got rid of all the quails because they were killing fledging finches and I just wanted to keep Lucky. So I got rid of all the other quails, but then when I got home, I was like, where were you hiding? So one of them had been hiding. So we've got, had two, but then Lola died, could have been old age, don't know, probably about four weeks ago. But ever since then, this is what Lucky's been doing. And she just gets louder and louder and louder. Honestly, it's like, there's no, any time of the day as well, any time of night, not so much at night, but now and again she'll do it. It just, it just builds to a crescendo and it's just, mm, it's very irritating. So the two ideas I had to solve the problem, one, this is the long winded one, was to get some hatching eggs off eBay and hatch out some more, which means buying them, waiting for them to be posted, that's about a week, and then setting them for 24 hours, and then incubating them for 18 days, and then letting them hatch, and then putting them brooder. So that would have been a long-winded thing with Lucky making all this noise. Then the next option is actually go back to the pet shop, where I got rid of the other ones, and get one back, and see if that shots are up. But I've run out of time, so I'm gonna see how she goes over the next couple of days, because it's really 
Emma that's getting demented by her. Not me. I'm all right. Well, I'm not all right because she's noisy, but we shall see. So that's up and coming. We'll hopefully, well, hopefully not, but see if we catch a rat in the middle of the night. So thanks for watching this little mini series thing. I'll probably see you at the weekend because, like I said, it's the first of December soon, so I have to go and do the Christmas lights outside. Well, I've done them, but I did switch them on and just jiggle a few things around. And then that's when the elves will arrive. It's the 1st of December. At least we get a chocolate every day, though. I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Mmm. Cadbury's. Thank you.